Hey, what's going on? This is Andre Sweeney, the Life Specialist. Welcome to the Good Life Show, the show that gives you the tools and principles necessary for an outstanding life. Today's segment is called Life Nuggets, and today I want to talk to you from the subject, the five areas of need. Listen, if you're breathing right now, if you have a pulse, then you have needs. I don't care how tough you are, how rich you are, I don't care what you think you have. The bottom line is you have needs. Needs that uh, enable you to function on an everyday basis. Today we're going to talk about five of those needs. The first need is the need to live. I don't mean to breathe. I mean financially. Listen, unless you have money, there is a quality of life that is absolutely impossible for you to attain. Money makes it a reality to be able to do certain things. There are certain neighborhoods that are just not safe to live in. They're crime riddled, drug infested, prostitutes walking down the street, gang violence. But if you don't have enough money to get out of those neighborhoods, you're forced to stay there. Without money, there's a certain quality of food you can't even eat. Have you ever went to the grocery store and realized that fruits and vegetables are some of the most expensive products in the, in the grocery store? That's because healthy living takes money. You can't even get quality health care without a decent amount of money. One reason why people, some people wait so long to go to the doctor is because they don't have health insurance. So they wait, wait, wait until something goes wrong instead of being preventative if they had had insurance. Now they're in a situation where the situation has blew up. Money makes it able, make, excuse me, money makes it possible for us to have a quality of life that we all want to have. I'm not even talking about riches and mansions and Bentleys. I'm talking about basic things. If you don't have money, you be sitting somewhere in the dark. If you don't have any money, you be sitting somewhere with no running water, like you're in a third world country. So the first uh, basic need that we have is to be able to live financially. Number two, the next important need is to love and to be loved. Listen, if you're a human being, you want to be loved. You want to know how it feels for someone to look at you with those eyes like you're the only thing that matters in this world. The look from a mate or a spouse that says, I love you. I need you. The look from your child. That innocence, that unconditional love from your son and your daughter. That says you're the best dad or the best mom in the world. The, the, the feeling of love you get when 30 people surprise you for your birthday. And they all join together to celebrate you because they love you. The best feeling in the world. Every human being wants to be loved. I don't care what you say. You can say, I don't need anybody. It's just me by myself. I can do whatever I want to do. I don't care. Well, that's hogwash. You want to be loved. And then you want to reciprocate that. You want to love those same children back and give them everything they need. You want to love that same spouse back and be the best husband or wife you can be. You want to celebrate and love your friends back for loving you. So, yes. Our need is to be loved and to love. Need number three. Everybody wants to feel important. You want to feel like on your job that you're needed. You want to feel like while you go to work every day that the people, your co-workers and your bosses feel like you have the answer. You want to feel like when you go to school that you're significant, you're significant to your classmates. That you're just not existing that you're just not living some mundane life that doesn't matter. Like you're not just uh, uh, bumbling from place to place, but that you're significant. Everybody wants to feel important. Everybody wants to feel like they have a contribution to the society. Everybody wants to feel like, hey, if something were to happen to you, you may not want to admit it, but you want to feel like you would be missed. That your contribution would be will be lacking if you weren't here. Everybody wants to feel important. When people start feeling not important, people stop caring. 
When people stop caring, they start allowing anything. And once you allow anything, then you're really not living. Everybody needs to feel important. The next need is to have variety. You may love McDonald's. You may love your Big Mac. You may love your quarter pounder with cheese. You may love your icy Coke and your thick shake. But man, life is so much better when there's Burger King down the street also. Life is so much better when you can choose Taco Bell. No one wants the same ho-hum, run-of-the-mill, everyday, same old, same old. People want the ability to choose. When you have the ability to choose and you have choices, then you have options. And when you have options, you're able to select the best decision for your life. Instead of something that's force-fed down your throat. Variety makes the world go round. When I'm able to choose between quality products, then I'm able to select the thing that's going to make me the happiest. But when I'm forced to choose something and that's all there is, then I tend to handle that situation like that's all there is. Variety is very important. The last thing that we have a need for, and that's purpose. Purpose is the reason why you get out of the bed every day. Purpose is the reason why you were born. No, it's deeper than your mother and your father hooking up. It's the reason why God chose you for the reason why he chose you. It's the reason why you're a teacher. It's the reason why you work with young people. It's the reason why you have your own business. It's the reason why you do what you do. Without purpose, there's no reason to get up every day. Purpose drives us when life says, hey, I'm not favoring you today. When life says, I'm not choosing you. When life says, hey, you have no money. When life says your health is bad. Purpose says go on anyway because there's an end result. There's an end to this and you're going to be a champion in the end. You're going to be great in the end because this is your purpose. Without purpose, we're nothing. Without purpose, we're mediocre. We're average. We're below standard. We need purpose to fulfill us. We need purpose to define us. We need purpose to say this is who you are. And without it, you're not much of anything. So yes sir, yes ma'am, you need to find your purpose. This is Andre Swinney, the Life Specialist, and I'm here to help you get a life.